Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally broke the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. So welcome back guys, today we will be doing the finish line mission. Uh, the mission stories that we will complete are uh, turbocharged and uh, turbocharged and a perfect machine. Well, you can t you cannot take with you any uh, item because uh, well you'll be fresh at the entrance. So you can smuggle a gun, but it doesn't matter if you want to smuggle it or not. Uh, you can take any outfit. Uh, I am this time. I'm taking the 47 signature. So, well, let's play. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. The stakes are as high as they can get. Your problems, all right? It isn't. I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, 
I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Half an hour later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills to mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra's suit. No more. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, but no, I don't give a rat's ass about it. Double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. You come straight from the Well, it's you decide otherwise, and I'll be down by the panel. Then you hit the pavement, and the change in grip is, it's just amazing. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. There is still plenty of time left, folks, and anything can happen. Quickly subdue him now. Let me just repeat some ground rules for those of you new. Don't worry about the guard, you will not quickly put him in the dark. Get down. Next up, Robert Knox. Turn this off and hide so that the security guard will come here. And on. Take his clothes and leave his body here. Nobody will notice. Over the 
you want to know more about this mission story, just click on the top right hand corner of your screen. Robert Knox has a race car on display in the expo building. The show staff is under strict instructions to summon him at any sign of malfunction. Apparently, Knox trusts no one to fix his car but him. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to poke around under the hood, 47. They do say one should never mess with another man's wheels. Well, let this guard leave before you tamper with anything. Now sabotage it. Good. I dare say this should get Nox's undivided Quickly attention. Quickly put the Octane booster and get inside the car. Hey buddy, try to start the car, will you? Better call Knox. Mr. Knox? Yeah, it's Smith from down at the expo. Listen, the Mark III's making some, well, just odd noises. Uh, can you come? Great. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. Well, he will be down here quick. We just have to wait for him to get here. Just wait. Just keep on following his instruction. All right, try it now. This should work. Ah, here we are. Just a loose wire back there. We just reattach it. Good. Hit it, Smith. Oh, oh no! Both targets down. Well done, Fraser. Head for an exit. <laughs> 